Hi, I'm Kareem Case, and I'm a digital development assistant producer at Channel 4. Hi, I'm Liv, I'm a digital producer at Channel 4. So in my role, I'm responsible for coming up with fun and innovative new ideas that can then be turned into programming that we make in-house with our in-house production company, for Studios. This content is then published across all of our different social media channels. In my role, I come up with ideas for Channel 4's TV shows, which gets posted on social media. No day for me is the same. Some days I'm sat on TikTok scrolling, looking for new talent that we can use or doing a lot of research, seeing what other people are doing and um, how we can innovate that. In school, I would say the subjects that help me the best for this role that I have now is definitely going to be English. A lot of what I do is spend writing content so just being able to know how to like properly form a sentence, knowing how to get in the right language that can emote what it is that we're trying to do so that the commissioners can fully understand it. As well as English, I'd probably say that history is another one that was a big one for me because history demands a lot of research. So in school, I studied PE and one of the skills there was communication and that can definitely be applied to work because obviously we have to talk to our teammates or colleagues at work or video editors and stakeholders where we have to decide on what content we're going to create and how the content's going to be and what title we want to create the content. I was looking online for different positions and I saw that Channel 4 had a training scheme at the time called the Channel 4 Production Training Scheme applied for that and was able to get onto that scheme. So from there, they placed me into a production company based in Leeds. And I spent a year there learning how to become a TV researcher. It was one of the greatest experiences that I've had the opportunity of, of doing because it projected me into the role that I wanted to be in. A barrier that I faced in getting a job in the media is self-confidence and self-belief. I think that you have to really know who you are and know what you're capable of doing. And in my role as an assistant digital producer, but also a digital producer at Cesspart Lunch, I was required to be in front of people and talk to people and convince people to get involved in content. So I had to really know how to communicate to celebrities and guests and work with them to produce the content that I wanted to put online. A barrier I faced getting into this role was that I just didn't know it existed. I'd watched TV all my life, but I didn't know that there was a group of people who sat in a room and essentially just like made it. So as I started to like go on, I was like, no, I have a bank of ideas and I know that they're all useful. So I felt like it was like not knowing the right places or the right people to speak to. But as long as you have the right people around you, encouraging you and pushing you, those jobs will always appear. It's just about looking. The advice that I would have for somebody getting into TV would be, number one, watch as much of it as you can do. The second piece of advice that I would give is just to be on the lookout constantly, especially for things like schemes, because there's schemes out there that can apply to everybody. I would also say make content, whether it's a vlog or a podcast or anything else. I have a podcast myself and I had to create that from scratch. and just coming up with an idea of creating a podcast and the content that you're going to be talking about. I applied that to the role that I'm in now in terms of coming up with ideas and generating ideas for whatever brief you're given here at Channel 4. TV is an industry that needs more faces of different varieties um, from different backgrounds and the schemes out there that will apply to you. So please, please, please apply to them. Mm -hmm.